Hi guys, Miss Finette here and welcome back to our online classes. So today I'm joined with Mr Watkinson and Mr Williams and we're going to be running through your class for you, okay? So hands and feet together, bow in, where you are, just jogging on the spot. We'll get nice and warm with this warm-up. Okay, so if you get a little bit confused, watch these guys just behind me. Run those knees up nice and high. So you're going to start with 10 knees up and then 10 legs back, okay? So count them in your head, in your own time. Good, perfect. You're going to keep repeating that. Make sure those knees are coming right up past your belt every single time, guys. Okay, so you're going to keep going with that, but now you're going to add two star jumps on the end. So 10 knees up, nice and high. 10 legs back, and then two nice big star jumps. Perfect, good work. Keep repeating this to your own time, guys. Okay, so where you are, just stay moving, just jogging on the spot. To start off with, we're going to go straight into some lunges, okay? So try and step your legs out. You've got your alternate lunges. If I turn onto a side for you, my back knee just hovers above the floor, and then I go straight into my next one, okay? Off you go, guys. Nice and long, those lunges. Try and keep your hands off your knees. If you need to pop them on your hips or on your guard, you can do. Perfect, good work, guys. Nice and long, that back knee. Okay, so now you're going to add a squat into the middle. So you lunge, step back, nice low squat, lunge off your other leg. Okay, then you'll go again. So you'll do one lunge, step back, nice low squat, lunge off your other leg, and keep repeating that for me, okay? Off you go. Perfect. Again, keeping those hands up in your guard or in your hips. Okay, we're going to go for 10 more seconds on this one, guys. Good, try and get two more full sets in if you can. And 10. Okay, so give your legs a little bit of a shake off. This next one, we're going to do one more on your legs, okay? So we're going to stick with those lunges. So you're going to come nice and low into that lunge position. From here, you're going to pulse it. So you'll do one, two, three pulses. And then you'll do a nice high jump and then straight back into it, okay? So one, two, three pulses, keeping that knee nice and low to the floor. And then a nice high jump, all right? So stick with that same leg to start off with, guys, okay? Off you go. So nice and low. Try and keep your balance. Try and go straight back into that lunge. Perfect. Good work, guys. Okay, 10 more seconds on this side, and then we'll swap those legs over, okay? So as you can see, these guys are having a nice high jump, and they're going straight into their next one. Okay, five seconds left. Try and get one more in. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, so shake those legs off. This time you've got the exact same, but off your other leg now, all right? So stepping that leg right out, three pulses, one nice high jump. Are you ready? Off you go. One, two, Three, and jump. Perfect. Notice how these guys are keeping their body nice and tall. They're not curling over. That's good work. Good. See how high you can jump. If you're at home, try and jump and touch the ceiling if you can. Perfect. Good work. Okay. Ten seconds left. Try and get two or three more in. Four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, you can give your legs a good shake off now. This time we're going to move on to our tummy, okay? So I'll show you, face in, and then I'll turn nice and sideways. So to start off with, you want to keep both feet nice and straight, legs up off the floor. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, arms out to the side, and you've got basic leg raises, okay? If I spin this way, every time I bring my legs up, I bring my hips up off the floor as well, okay? So in your own time, you've got 10 leg raises and then jogging on the spot when you're done, okay? Off you go, guys. If you need to pop your hands underneath your bum, you can, but if not, try and keep them out to the side. 
soon as you've done those 10, just jog in on the spot for me, please. Perfect. Notice how their hips are coming up off the floor each time. Good. Well done, guys. As soon as those 10 are done, just jog in. Okay, so next one we're going to work, stay moving while you're watching, but this time you're on sit-ups, okay? But what I'd like you to do, as you sit up, bring your shoulders towards your hips, and then from here you're going to twist with two straight punches, straight back down, okay? So sit up, twist on those straight punches, back down. You've got 30 seconds on this one, guys, okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. Good, so notice how they're sitting all the way up. They're crunching their stomach. Good, twist all the way through on those punches. Try really engage your core. If you're at home and need a little bit of help, you can always pop your feet underneath your sofa just so that can support you. Perfect, good work guys. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left. Try to get a few more sets in now if you're at home. Try to get three more in, okay? You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Perfect. Okay, so now you've got the same idea of what we've just done. This time, what I'd like you to do is you've got 30 seconds holding this sit-up position about halfway so I can feel that pressure on my tummy. You're going to do as many straight punches as you can. I'm not sitting all the way up because then I've got no pressure on my stomach, okay? So about halfway down, you're going to twist and see how many straight punches you can do in that 30 seconds, all right? Are you ready, guys? Start in three, two, one. Off you go. So sit halfway up, twist. Try to get as many as you can. Good, keep going. Make sure you let us know in the comments below how many straight punches you can do in this time, okay? Okay, try to speed it up a little bit now. Stay halfway, keep that pressure there. Okay, 10 seconds left, speed it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, keep twisting. Five, four, three, two, one, and time, perfect. Okay. Next one, we're going to move on to our arms, okay? So from here, there are a few ways you can do it, but you've just got basic push-ups to start off with. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders, feet just behind, and then you want to try and go all the way down and straight back up, okay? So if I turn sideways, again, hands underneath your shoulders, try and come nice and low, straight back up. If you need to drop to your knees again, exactly the same, okay? You've got 10 of those to do in your own time. Okay, ready guys, three, two, one, off you go with ten basic push-ups. See how they're going nice and low. Good work. Test yourself at home, see if you can get your chin or your chest to touch the bar. Okay, jogging on the spot when you're done, please. please. Perfect, okay, so the next one that we're going to wear, you're going to stick with those push-ups. So from here, you will do one push-up, and then you will do two mountain climbers, okay? You will then do one push-up. This time you will do four mountain climbers, running those knees up. And each time, you're gonna build your mountain climbers up in twos, and always one push-up, all right? Okay, good guys, set, second, three, two, one, off you go. So one push-up, two mountain climbers. Perfect, this is gonna be our last one. Awesome, run those knees up as fast as you can at home. See what number you can get up to. See if you can get to a higher number than these guys. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left now, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, hit that 2, 1, and time. Perfect. Okay, so if you pause the video, guys, Get yourself a good drink, and then when you come back, we're going to move on to our content. Okay, welcome back, guys. I hope you're feeling nice and warm. 
So the first part of our content we're going to work is a lot of arms. We're going to work some straight punches, okay? We're also going to involve a hook punch a little bit later on in our content, all right? So the first thing me and the instructors are going to do, we're going to set our boxing stance. The left leg's going to be at the front. Our guard is going to be nice and tight. And the first technique that we're going to focus on is a jab. A single jab, okay? Now what we need to make sure we're doing on our jab, I'm going to show you front on first, and I'm going to turn sideways, okay? When I punch, I need to make sure I've got a couple of um, body parts in line, okay? My middle knuckle on my front hand here needs to be in line with my nose, okay? So when I straight punch here, my middle knuckle is directly in front of my face, and you see how my shoulder tucks into my chin? All that's doing is adding some defensive purposes on there. If my partner was to throw a hook punch, like we're going to cover a little bit later and I didn't have my shoulder there you see how I've got a big gap here ready for my partner to hit me okay so on my count all these instructors are going to do behind me here is show us a single jab okay you ready guys one sir two sir just as Miss Burnett's demonstrating little dragons nice loud sap for me please three sir four sir five sir six sir seven and we're moving quite fast, are you keeping up with us at home? Eight. Sir. Nine. Sir. And ten. Okay, so that's the front arm done. Now we've got to use the opposite arm. So what the team are going to do here, they're going to swap their stance over. So their opposite leg is going to be the front, which now means their other arm, in this case their right arm, is going to be the jab. So that one is going to want to show us the technique, okay? Stand by. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're a little quiet over here. I hope you guys are nice and loud at home. Six. Sir. Seven. Sir. Eight. Sir. Nine. Sir. And last one's always there. Best one. And ten. Sir. Very good. So just a basic jab to start with, okay? So this time what we're going to do, we're going to take the same jab and we're going to double it up. We're going to throw a double jab, okay? Now I want to pay close, uh, pay close attention to my feet. When I do this double jab, you see how I'm progressing forwards here? Again, I'll show you this way. My guard is still high when I start, of course, but when I do my punches, I'm progressing forwards towards my target, okay? So that's what we need to try and incorporate at home, and that's what these instructors are gonna demonstrate for us. So exactly the same in our boxing stance. Guard is nice and tight. When we hear a number, we're gonna throw a double jab, taking a couple of small steps forwards, and then, of course, starting back, uh, stepping back sorry, to where we started, okay? Let's take a look, we're ready? One. Set, set, set. Two. Set, very set. good. So these guys have got some very big steps here. That's great. But next time I want to try and minimize it nice and small. Three. Set, set. Just like this. Perfect. Four. Set, set. Also, we come across here so we get a good view of uh, Mr. Williams there. Five. Set, set. Six. Set, set. Awesome work. Are you guys as intense as these team here? Seven. Set, set. Eight. Set, set. Nine. Set, set. Okay, last one. And ten. Set, set. So exactly the same, just like last time. You guessed it, we've got to swap our legs over, okay? So swapping this stance. Notice as well, if you didn't see, Miss Burnett has uh, demonstrated it very good over here. We've also swapped our guard around, okay? So this arm was, I'm gonna bother you next, can I bring it to the front? So this arm was the one that was in front last time, the jab. And when we swap stance over, do you see how her guard also swaps as well? This is now the back arm, so that's going to prioritise keeping nice and tight to the front. And because we know we're going to throw a jab, this front arm is going to sit slightly in front. One, because it's closer to her target, and two, it also helps for defensive purposes as well. Thank you, miss. So exactly the same, double jab with that front arm, taking those two small steps. Stand by. One. Set. 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 Very good. Two. Set. Set. Three. Set. 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 Also, I've got some nice loud team here. Little Jack and Shimmer, how loud you are. Four. Set, set, five, set, set, set. very good, six, set, set, set. nice work team, keep going, seven, set, set, eight, set, set, nine, set, set, and last one's always there, best one. one, and ten, set, set, very good, thank you guys. Okay, so this time we're going to add the cross punch on the end. So we're going to keep the double jab. So we're back into our original stance. This is my orthodox stance for those who were questioning that. Uh, back into our original stance here, sticking with this double jab. But now we're going to take a very small step out with our front leg and we're going to rotate all the way through with our cross punch, okay? Watch my heel when I do this punch. As I throw 
a cross punch. Do you see how my heel rotates out? That allows me to maximize, make the most of my strength on my punches, okay? So every time I count a combination this time, we're keeping our double jab, we're taking a very small step out and firing this cross punch, okay? Let's take a look, we're ready? One, set, set, set. Very good, a nice good solid rotation through the right side of our body here. Two, set, set, set. Awesome. Three, set, set, set. Very good, have you guys got nice straight punches like the team here? Four, set, set, set. Five, set, set, set. set. Fantastic work, doing really well. Six, set, set, set. Seven, set, set, set. Very good, let me jump on the other side over here and set the spinner out. Eight, set, set, set. set. Very good. Nine, set, set, set. And ten. Set, set, set. Perfect. Okay, just shake your arms off a little bit, your shoulders getting a bit of a, a burn, a little bit tight from keeping our guard tight. That's a good thing, it means it's nice and high. Well, of course, we're going to swap our legs over now. One more time, again, off this opposite side, okay? Are we ready? Stand by. One. Set, set, set. Very good. Two. Set, set, set. Awesome work. Well done. Look at the rotation on the back foot, guys. Keep an eye on that for me. Three. Set, set, set. There, very good. We rotate all the way through. Four. Set, set, set. Very good. Five. Set, set, set. Alright, then we're moving a little faster. Hope you're keeping up with us. Six. Set, set, set. Seven. Set, set, set. Very good. Eight. Set, set, set. Nice big step. Nine. Set, set, set. And last one's always there. Best one. And ten. Set, set, set. Very good. Fantastic. Thank you, team. Okay, so as I said previous, we are working hook punches as well. So again, we're gonna come back to our straight punches in just one moment. We're gonna work two hook punches. We're gonna work a lead hook punch and a rear hook punch. We're gonna focus on them first, and then we're gonna look at putting that into a combination after these two punches, okay? So to start with, we're still in our boxing stance. Guard is still nice and high. When we punch, I want you to think about what your hand's gonna do first, okay? As we know, most of us will be aware that we need to rotate our body, especially our feet on our hook punches, but what do we do with our hands? I want to imagine that you've got a big ball and you're stirring whatever mixture is in your ball. Again, that's with both hands here. I'm stirring this ball, look, okay? So when I do my hook punch, if I stay nice and still, I should be doing this movement with my, with my hand, with my hand here, okay? The rotation, what that allows me to do is minimize the movement with my hand. I'm still bringing it round, look, it's really big here. As soon as I rotate my body, it becomes a smaller movement like this, and it's nice and strong. I can whip it right the way through. Let me turn sideways here so you can see it from this direction. I come right the way through with my hook punch, okay? I'll show you from here. See how my elbow is nice and high. If I slow it down, look, it's here, in line with my hand, also in line with my shoulder, okay? Pulling our hook punch right the way through. This is, of course, our lead hook punch. We're then gonna rotate right the way around and work our rear hook punch, okay? Thumbs up. Your thumbs are up on your hook punch, you're good to go, okay? Let's have two hook punches, please, team. Nice long sack. Are we ready? One. Set. Set. Very good. Two. Set. Set. Right the way through. Three. Set, set, four, set, set, awesome, five, set, set. Okay, we're halfway there, we're keeping an eye on the arm, that's great, but watch the feet. As we did on the cross punch, we still need to twist through, okay? Check, that, uh, check the feet out for these next five, all right? Six, set, set, very good, seven, set, set. Right the way through, let's take a look at Mr. Williams here, if I'm in the way, I'm sorry for that. Seven, set, set, awesome work. Eight, set, set. Very good, have you got good punches like these two here? Nine. Set, set. Okay, one more, last one. Are you ready? Ten. Set, set. There we go. So there's no need to swap stance over there, guys. We're going to work this in the next combination a little bit later, okay? What I need us to do, team, we're going to uh, grab ourselves a quick drink, and when we come back, we're going to look to put those hook punches on the end of that previous combination. Okay, welcome back, guys. Now, we're going to follow on from the previous combination that we was working just before we got a drink. So I hope you're hydrated and you're ready to start, okay? So just a gentle reminder, two hook punches was our last uh, two techniques that we focused on. We're going to pinch those techniques, and we're now going to add them onto the end of our original combination, the double jab cross punch, okay? So all together, we're setting our boxing stance. Guard is nice and tight. Every time you hear me count a number, we're going to fire our double jab. We're gonna step out on our cross punch and we're gonna twist all the way through with our lead hook punch, okay? So one more time, let me shuffle back here. We go double jab, cross punch, 
lead hook punch, okay? From here again, double jab, cross, lead hook, all right? As I'm doing this combination, I'll show you a couple more angles. Watch where my hands come back to. They don't come back to here. They certainly don't come back to here, nice and high in my chin. Again, double jab, cross, lead hook, okay? One more time, facing the audience here. Double jab, cross, lead hook punch, okay? So every time I count, our instructors are gonna demonstrate that for us. Let me start over here, a little change. Are we ready? One, set, 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 set. set. Very good, so we're taking our time. We're not rushing through it, making sure we've got every part of that combination on point. Two, set, 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 set. Very good, are we stepping, guys? Make sure we've got that double step on the jab at home. Three, set, 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 set. Fantastic. Four, set, 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 set. set. Very good. Five, set, 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 awesome. set. How are we looking at home, guys? Make sure you're dropping us the images in the comments below. Six, set, 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 set. Seven, set, 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 set. Very good. Let me jump on this side over here. Eight, set, 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 set. Perfect. Nine, set, 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 set. And ten, set, set, set. Fantastic. Set. Thank you, team. Okay, so just as we did previous, guys, we're gonna look at swapping our stance over, okay? Now, if this is gonna confuse you because now we've got to use our other arm, it's gonna fire the opposite of what we've just done, then I like to continue in the same stance as before, okay? If you are still having to work that out and still getting things right, then of course, continue doing that for me, but we're gonna swap our stance over. If you could do the same, that'd be brilliant. One to 10, guard nice and tight, are you ready? One. So, jab, set, cross, set, set, set. We're twisting through on that lead hook punch. Make sure that heel comes off. Two, set, set, set. Very set. good. Right the way through. Three, set, one, two, set, three. Set, set, set. And hook punch. Four, set, 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 set. set. Very good. Five, set, 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 set. set. Perfect work. Well done. Six, set, 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 set. Seven, straight on set, it. Set, set, set. Keep up with those guys at home. Eight, set, 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 set. Nine. Set, 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 set. Perfect. Last one, team. Last one's always there. Best, Best one. one. And ten. Set, 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 set. There you go. Fantastic. Shake your hands off, guys. Thank you. Okay, so we've got two techniques that we're going to look to add on now, okay? The first one, very similar, uh, very uh, familiar with this, sorry. We've got another cross punch. So we go double, jab, cross, lead hook punch, cross, okay? We're going to work that for a count of five, just so I'm confident you at home can do it, and then we're going to look to add a lead roundhouse kick on to the end of that, okay? If you tuned in with us uh, a couple of days ago, myself and Mr. Burks is really focusing on these roundhouse kicks, so if you took part in that, there's going to be a walk in the park for you, okay? But one more time, boxing stance, we're going to go double jab, cross, lead hook punch, cross punch to begin with, and then we look to add the kick on in just one moment, okay? Let's take a look how that's gonna be, uh, follow out. Are we ready? One, set, double jab, set, cross, set, 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 punch, and that final cross punch on the air. Two, set, 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 set. set. Very good. Three, set, 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 set. Awesome way. See how the team are really rotating here? Make sure we're rotating our car. Four, set, 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 set. Very good. Five, Set, 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 set. Awesome work, team. Well done. Six. Keep going at home. Stay with us. Set, set, set. Seven. We're nearly there. Set, 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 set. Two more now. Stay with me. Eight. Set, 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 set. Perfect. Nine. Set, 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 set. There we go. Let me jump in the middle. I'll jump in and stop and it's okay. Are you ready, guys? Last one's always there. Best one. And ten. Set, 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 set. Very good. Okay, thank you. So this time, we're looking to add the lead roundhouse kick on the end, okay? Now what we need to do here is change our stance. We're in a boxing stance. Our full class so far has been in a boxing stance. We're gonna look to turn sideways into our kicking stance. So hopefully, you guys shouldn't be able to see my back shoulder from here, okay? If you can, then I am sideways enough. My feet may be pointing to the, uh, in the right direction, but if I'm turning and facing you here, everything's gonna be out of line, I'm not gonna have the best kick possible. Everything is sideways here, of course guard is tight, heel comes up to our bum, and we extend out with a basic lead roundhouse kick, okay? Now I mention this in class all the time, okay? I'm sure you guys are uh, pretty sick of hearing it by now, uh, especially adults. 
When we kick, I would rather you kick in line with your knee. Right the way down here. Make sure we can see this, love. When I kick, right the way down there. But I have every part of the combination, or the technique, should I say, correct. So my heel comes up, my leg comes out, and I re-chamber. Most of us, we will try and compensate, we will try and make up for height uh, with these kind of kicks here. The foot will come above the knee and we'll try and kick like this. We're going to want to try and avoid doing that as much as we can. Again, I'd rather you kick low but with correct technique than kicking high with poor technique here, okay? So the full combination is going to look like this. We've got double jab, cross, lead hook punch, cross punch. We've all just worked out. All this cross punch is going to do here is turn a sideways look. We're going to pull our heel to our bum. Yeah! and extend with that lead roundhouse kick. So one more time, let me face this direction. Double jab, cross, hook punch, cross, turn sideways, lift and hit for that lead roundhouse kick, okay? You notice I'm splitting it up. What we eventually need to do, let me face you, what we eventually need to do is put them all together so by the time we're finishing our combination, it's fluent, it follows on from one technique to the other, okay? So let's have a look how our team are gonna, uh, are gonna show us this here. On my count, are you ready? One, set, 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 Extending with that kick, very good. Adults, of course, we need to shout set, but make sure we're shh, telling myself, the camera, the telly, your partner, if you're working with a pair at home, to shush, okay? Two, set, 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 set. Awesome work, team, well done. Three, set, 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 Very good. Four, set, 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 set. Yeah, fantastic. Five. Set, 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 set. Awesome work. Look how we've got nice high kicks here. Chambers up, okay? Six. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Very good. Seven. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Awesome work, team. Let me jump on the opposite side just over here. Eight. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Awesome. Nine. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Very good. Okay, what I'm going to do, Miss Burnett, I'm going to put you facing me just here for me, Miss. And then, Mr. Williams, if you could go back to back with Miss Burnett facing that way, I'm going to bring you forward half a step. That's perfect. And then, so we can see it from both angles. Let me come over here. You guys see me there? Okay, last one. Are we ready? Ten. Set, 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 set. Lifting yeah. with that lead roundhouse kick. Thank you, guys. I'm going to bring you just back here for me, please. So, exactly the same. This is a very, very technical and sometimes even complicated combination, okay? Once we've broke it down like we have and built it up the way we will, uh, or the way we have, should I say, then it does become quite basic. So, just like previous, we're going to look to swap our stance over, all right? Personally, I favour my left leg over my right leg. Whenever I demonstrate in class, whenever you uh, see me teaching at all, I will predominantly be left side forwards because this is my most confident leg. I feel I can demonstrate the best techniques with this leg. That doesn't mean to say that I need to neglect my right leg here, it just means that I prefer my left. But we still need to make sure that we're training both sides. So when we're doing our kick, let's not start kicking like this because our left leg was going high and our right leg can't go as high. I'd rather you kick lower with correct form than high with incorrect form as explained previous, okay? So we're going to be in our southpaw stance, right leg forward. Guards nice and high, exactly the same. Double jab, cross, hook, cross. We turn sideways and extend with that lead roundhouse kick, okay? Are you ready, team? Stand by. One. Set, 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 set. set. Finish here yeah. with that kick. Two. Set, 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 set. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Three. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Awesome work. Well done. Four. Set, 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 set. Yeah. And five. Set, 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 set. Yeah. Awesome well, can I bring this back to back like we had last time, team? Is that okay? Again, I'm going to bring us Mr. Williams. You're going to come half a step back. That is perfect. Okay. You ready? Number five. Six. Set, 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 set,
Okay, so guys, all we're going to look to do now, we're going to get rid of our roundhouse kick and we're going to add two techniques onto the end, okay? Now this is getting very technical. This combination is off one of our senior grade, com uh, senior grade uh, belt testings, okay? We're going to go double jab, cross, hook punch, cross. Rather than doing a lead roundhouse kick, I'm going to dip down and fire this technique, okay? Now for those at home, uh, our junior members, I'm going to give you two minutes now to turn to the person next to you and try and tell them what technique this is. Can you tell me this technique? If you can give me the name, tell me what type of, uh, of technique it is, okay? Is it the front or the back? Do you know those two words, okay? One more time, let me shift from this angle and come in here. Last one, you've got 10 seconds to try and guess it. If you already know it, that's fantastic. Okay, it's a lead uppercut, okay? If you got that, well done. If not, now you know. Boxing stance, double jab, cross, lead hook punch, cross, lead uppercut, and, uh, and a cross punch, okay? So one more time, we'll do it with the team just here. So we're all in our boxing stance. Again, we go nice and solid, guys. Double jab, cross, Hook punch, cross, see how we dip down, we come uppercut, cross, okay? One more time, let me shuffle back a little. Again we go, double jab, cross, hook, cross, uppercut, cross, okay? I'm going to take a small step back here, and these two are going to demonstrate this for us, okay? Stand by, one, double jab, 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 cross, jab, hook, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, uppercut, jab. cross, very good. Okay, I'm just going to slow us down, team, just so our junior members especially can keep up with us at home, okay? I know we're very fast. Stand by. Two. Slap, 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 Perfect. Slap, Fantastic. Slap, slap. Is this the right speed for you guys? If it's too slow, by all means, fire it as fast as you can. Three. Slap, 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 Very slap, good. Slap, slap, slap. Awesome work. Four. Slap, 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 slap. Okay, last one at this speed, and then we're going to look to increase it a little bit. Five. Set, 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 set. Perfect. Okay, guys, we're going to do two more combinations total, and then we're going to look to wrap up and stretch out, okay? Are you ready? Six. Set, 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 set. Fantastic. Okay, last one. Last one's always done. Yes, one. And ten. Set, 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 set. Okay, who can tell me what mistake I made just then? I'm sure these two are aware uh, because we're so used to saying last one's always the best one on 10. It should have been seven. Maybe I should go and learn my maths again, okay? Guys, what I need everyone to do is to grab themselves a quick drink. When we come back, we're going to look to stretch our legs out and finish up today's session. Okay, welcome back, guys. We've got our team here stretching out, okay? So if not already, make sure we're on our bum like this. One leg in, one leg out, reaching all the way down for our toes, okay? Reaching all the way over. Now, our team are very, very flexible. So what we're looking to try and do is make it as hard as we can. Maybe we can reach across with our opposite arm. Just like this here, reaching all the way down. If that's still quite easy, both arms are going to reach for your foot. And then from there, we're going to try and make this as hard as possible. We're going to look to drop our elbows down right the way to the floor. We should get a good stretch right down the back of our legs, just here. Okay, let's swap these legs over. This leg's gonna pull in. Opposite leg is gonna extend out. Again, we're gonna reach down. So we're getting a quite an uncomfortable feeling here. When we start to get used to that, we're gonna make it that a little harder by reaching across, just like so. And then let's look to have both hands on our feet, reaching right the way down. So for some of us, we tend to stop when it starts to feel uncomfortable. That's the worst thing to do. Stretching your muscle is not going to be a pleasant uh, feeling, okay? But by the end of it, once it has stretched so far, it will end up staying there. And then you can stretch it a little further, and a little further, and a little further. And that's how people like Miss Burnett, for example, are very, very flexible because when it starts to hurt, she doesn't stop. She lets it rest for a second and then pushes a little further, pushes a little further. And that allows her to have such great flexibility, just like I hope you do at home. From here, we're going to pull both feet in. Bottom of our feet are going to be touching, pushing our knees down. So this stretch is really important for our kicking stance techniques, okay? Side kicks, roundhouse kicks, maybe our hook kicks here because we're stretching it inside of our legs, which allow us to bring our body away from, uh, our legs, sorry, away from our body. So when I'm stretching up like this, the more flexible the inside of my legs are, of course, the higher our chin is going to go. 
So let's look to stretch both legs out, extending them to the front, reaching for our toes, right the way down. Last stretch that we're going to use for our legs, guys, so make sure we're really pushing down. Very good. Okay, everyone, up onto our feet for me. Hands on our hips, we're going to circle these hips off, nice and big, nice and wide. And then one way, then the other way, of course. Feet together, our knees as well. Nice big circles. Fantastic. And then last one, I know some of us are eager to tell me in class, ankles and wrists. Circling our body, lim uh, our body limbs, our limbs off. Okay team, we're gonna have our hands and feet together and we're gonna finish up with a bow from there. Guys, thank you for joining in today and make sure you keep an eye out on this community channel so that we can post more uh, content to you.